Colleges of Francis, in Canada. It's a pleasure and honor to be told of you. First of all, I'd like to greet the Honorable Dr. Chris Bakemunzi, Minister of uh, ICT and National Gardens, and also the chief guest in this special event. Bishops, bishops, clergy, religious, and all the people present in this special occasion. And I congratulate the Catholic Church in Uganda for the faithful, the Episcopal Conference for this important achievement, the launch of the Uganda Catholic Television. And we have listened to this project long of long time waiting perfected but now and today it is possible to launch it and to present officially to all the public the society in Uganda. The what to choose good news for hope you know good news is the gospel the gospel means this work, Greek work means good news. And the good news is Jesus himself, the eternal son of the Father, sent for us, for the Virgin Mary, and who preached, died and risen for us, for our salvation. And this is always, is every day, the good news, Jesus, our Savior, our Redeemer, present always with us. But there are, of course, many good news. Maybe it's quite normal, but bad news are more interesting in the public than good news. But it is important to invite also the people to give attention good news, of course, the good news of the gospel of Jesus, but there are many good news every day. Many people maybe are not in the news, but with their lives, their examples, they gave a great contribution to the society because many people will be very a difficult situation, but they are able to help of the people they are able to be in service to people in need, are able to promote peace, to promote reconciliation, forgiveness, every day in the society, every day in the church, we have many examples, examples of faith, charity, hope, and many good news, but for different reasons are not in the media. And this is also important, especially for the youth, to present also other aspect that it is this to offer a contribution to be serious in our activities, to be honest. There are many values, many aspects that it is important to promote to present to the public. As the Bishop Joseph Franzen said, every year there is this special day, there are many special day in the calendar every year. The one is the World Day of Social Communications. And this year was the day number 57, and it was celebrated the 21st of May. And also every year there is a special message from the Pope and also a theme. This year was the theme speaking with the act, the truth in love. 
the old saying, after having reflected in past years on the fact, go and see and to listen, as conditions for good communication, we need message for the whole day of social communications and we like to focus on speaking with the heart. It is the heart that is part of to go, to see and to listen. And it is the heart that moves us towards an open and welcoming way of communication. Jesus wants us that every tree is known at his own. The good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, produces good, and the evil man, out of his evil treasure, produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Communicating cordial, communicating in a cordial manner means that both who read or listen to us are led to welcome and come our participation in the joys, fears, hopes, and suffering of the women and men of our time. Those who speak in this way love the other because they can and protect their freedom without violating it. Communicate it hard to us. In order to speak well, it is enough to love well. Speaking with the heart in the synodal process, disarming souls by promoting a language of peace. So these are some messages of for Francis for his golden communication. Finally, we would like Present my best wishes and for abundant blessings, successful about the Uganda Patron Television. And to present so my best wishes, thank all the people who did a great contribution to the this important initiative. May God bless all of us.